Hi guys, good morning. This video will answer the problem. Find score of an array after making all, after marking all the elements. So firstly, it's a very simple, straightforward, just implementation problem. But thinking of what to implement is actually the thing in this problem. So firstly, what we make sure that okay, what the problem says, we are given an array called nums. We starting the score as zero. How the score will be incremented? It will be we will choose an smallest integer from the array that is not marked. If there is a tie between the smallest integer, we will choose the smallest indexed integer. Cool. If there is a tie, if there is a tie, and cho choosing that smallest integer, we will just add that to our score, and then just mark that choose an element as marked and also its adjacent elements if they exist as also marked and we just repeat until all the elements are marked and need to return the final score at the end let's see this example nums array is 2 1 3 4 5 2 indexes i have marked as 0 1 2 3 4 5 now the first thing the problem says that choose the smallest integer of the array that is not marked let's forget this choose the smallest integer what is the data structure we can think of if we are set to choose a smallest integer from the array it will be firstly first comes in our mind priority queue mean heap mean heap can give us the minimum element in o of log n time it's a good thing a set it can also give us a minimum element in o of log n time cool or if you want to get it in O of 1, because see, we have to do it as the constraints are pretty huge. So if I want to get it every step, the minimum element, I need to get it in O of log n or O of 1. So for O of log n, we have priority queue and set for O of 1. I can just sort the array and maybe my array is sorted. Now I can just iterate on the array and I can get the minimum element. So I can just think of these three ways for now. Cool. But. What the problem says is that after we choose the element, we just add that to our score. Okay, my score is 1. I have chosen the element as 1. Add the index 1. Now the other problem part of the problem says that, okay, we mark the chosen element and its two adjacent elements if they exist. It says we mark the chosen element, which means that I need to mark, if I sort the array, how can I even access the adjacent elements? they are just gone they are just gone because sorting just it just abolishes destroys the order so i can't access the adjacent element it can't be done we can't query adjacent element out of a priority queue priority queue will just give us a minimum element not the other elements of our choice priority queue is also gone the remaining is set okay so we need to make sure that okay we need to apply this set as an operation and we also set the problem right that an element it can have a duplicate value so we need to choose a minimum indexed value so we need see in a set we had to push in values because we need to grab a minimum value but the values can be duplicate so we can use a multi set or a set but if we had values as a, as a duplicate, so it says that, okay, we need to choose the minimum index value, which means that I need to make sure for every value, I store index also with it. So I will just store the pair, which means element value and also the index value. And uh, we need to access the minimum element. So by default, the sorting, the set is sorted in ascending order which is good for us so i can just use the default sorting i don't have to do a descending sorting or something like that for a set and by default it can be good to go so it's just the case of implementation now we have the main criteria was to choose the data structure it's just the implementation now firstly we defined a set which will be just pair of integer 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 represents element and its index now we just push in every element along with its index in my set. Cool, it's done. After that, I'll just need to populate my answer, which is the actual score. I'll just go on until my set is empty because at every step, 
वॉट्स एवर पोजिशन गॉट मार्क्ट If I choose a position, let's say I, so I need to also mark I minus one and I plus one. So whatever position we get marked, I'll just remove it from my set. So I just moving until my set is empty. Firstly, I just grab the first element, which will be the minimum element, and if the elements are same, it will just re re return me the minimum element with the minimum index. I just get it. I just get the index out of that particular pair. Cool. Because this index will help me to grab i minus one and i plus one. I just add my elements value in my score, which is answer, and I need to erase that mark because I have just marked it. I can't use it in future, so I have to erase that. Now I am at that index i. I need to access i minus one and i plus one. Considering i minus one should be more than zero because I can't access. It's an if exist. I'll just find out. Okay, what was the possible value at i minus one index? It was nothing but this pair. At index i minus one, the value was nums of i minus one. So it the pair would be nums of i i minus one, which is i index minus one and index minus one. I'll just search for this pair in my set. If it exists, I'll just erase it. If it if it is not there, so no worries. But if 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 it is, then I just erase it. Same I'll just do for i plus one. Considering i plus one is less than equal to n minus one, if firstly I'll just find the pair. If it ex exists, then I'll just remove it. Ultimately, I just need to return my answer, which is the total score I can obtain. I hope that you guys got the intuition of how we thought of the data structure which you need to implement in this problem. It was. not the implementation yeah like the the, in the entire part was implementation but the main part was to think of which ds data structure to apply so hope that you guys liked it if you guys enjoyed it i would see you guys in the next video till then goodbye take care